Hello, my name is Maria Miller from MathMamota.com. In this video I want to show you and teach you about percent. It's a very important concept and sometimes difficult for students. Okay, now percent just means per hundred. Okay, and uh, per hundred, it means like dividing by hundred. It is a hundredth part. An example will make this more clear. If I have here five over hundred or five hundredths, then that is five per cent, five percent. This is our common symbol for percent. And uh, think of it this way. Think of the per as the division. Per is the division. And then cent is the hundred. It comes from the Latin word for hundred. Okay, five per cent or five per hundred. And then just this percent, which can be written as percent or without the space, is this symbol here. And the symbol actually evolved from the per and the hundred. The P is this top circle here, and then this bottom circle came from the hundred. Here's some examples that I want to change to fractions and decimals. 45%. And so I just write 45 on top, and then my per, and then my cent, or hundred. 45 per cent. There it is as a fraction and it's a decimal 0 0.45. Now a student of course has to understand decimals by this point knowing that 0 0.45 is 45 hundredths. 7 percent. Similarly you write 7 here on top then your per which is the division line and then cent is the hundred. Okay? And as a decimal 0 0.07 or seven hundredths. And 270 percent, the same way, 270 per cent, or the hundred, like that. And as a decimal, this is now more than one, it's going to be two and point seventy, or point seven, either way. Here we have some other fractions that I want to change to percent. This first one is pretty easy because it's something of a hundred. I have my per and cent already, so all of this is 14 per cent. This one is different. It has 10 in the denominator, but I can change it very easily to another fraction with 100 in the denominator. And uh, equivalent fractions, maybe you remember? In equivalent fractions, since my denominator is multiplied tenfold, that's what happens to the numerator too, tenfold, I get 30 here. And now I have my per and my cent, so it is simply 30%. Similarly, with four fifths, we can easily write it as something of 100 using equivalent fractions. This time, you multiply by 20 here. 5 times 20 is 100, and so 4 times 20 is 80, and I have my 80%. This one works the same way. because 20 goes evenly to 100. So 20 goes to 100 five times, so I multiply this by 5 too. I get 55 over 100, or 55 per cent. My last example here is a decimal, not a fraction. At, at, at least that's what it looks like, right? But remember, decimals are fractions. This is 171 thousandths. And um, I could write it like this. But it's not per hundred, right? If I were to write it as per hundred, it would become 17.1 over hundred. And um, from which we can then just write 17.1%. Like that. But the way I usually do this is I just remember that if it was 0 0.17, it would be 17%, right? 0 0.17 would be 17 hundredths, 17%. And so whatever comes after here, however many decimals here, they just become like the point and then tenth of a percent, hundredth of a percent, they become after the decimal point here. Now, these fractions all were really nice. 
because their denominators went into the hundred evenly. But of course we have lots of fractions that don't do that, for example one-sixth here. Uh, so how do we change that to a percent? And uh, think of it, here's one-sixth as a, as a picture. And I wrote here that if this whole thing was 100%, the total 100%, then how many percent is this one here? One-sixth. And this gives you the idea, I hope you can easily see that all you need to do is take 100 and divide by 6. 100 divided by 6 and you'll get how many percent this is. So if you use long division, 100 divided by 6, you should get 16.66666. And so it will be 16.666%. Or you could round it to something like that. And uh, if you have 5 sixths to a percent, let me color. If I color this here, I have my 5 sixths, right? How would you change that to a percent? You could take what you already have, your result here. This is the 1 sixth part, is 16.7 percent, and multiply that by 5, right? And then you would get your 5 sixths as a percent. But there's a quicker way, it's like a shortcut. And uh, that has to do with the idea that you first change it to a decimal using division, using long division or calculator, I guess. You change it to a decimal first and then from the decimal to percent. Let me show you. Five sixths to a decimal first, you use division. Five divided by six, okay? So five goes inside the division symbol or corner. And 6 outside, because it's 5 divided by 6. And I need to put these decimal zeros here to be able to divide it. 6 goes to 5 zero times, see? But to 58 times. And subtract goes 3 times. Oh, I see my 3's are going to repeat now. It's going to repeat the 3's here. Now I have it as a decimal, 0 0.83333. But to change it to a percent, remember that if it was 0 0.83, this 83 would be your hundredths, and you would have 83%. But this one, since it continues with the threes, it will be 83.3333%. Okay, I'm running out of space. I'm going to write it here, 83. 333% is, is 5-6. Hope this helps.